Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro using the Join Field Geoprocessing tool. So let's get started. I'm looking at some unemployment census data in Harris County, Texas, or you may know Houston. I'm working with two pivot tables from the same sets of data. On the left, I have the track population total, and on the right, I have the unemployment total, as well as the counts of how many blocks in each track. What I'd like to do is combine these two so I can run some summary statistics. I'd like to be able to calculate my percent of unemployment, but I can't do that without my population per tract. And while the field aliases for block groups may be different between the two tables, they do have a unifying tract field, and these tracts are unique. So I'll be joining on these two. To better visualize the join field, I've taken this to Model Builder, and I've opened up the geoprocessing pane. You can see here that there's Join Field, Join Features, and Add Join. You may already be familiar with Add Join. When you're in the Contents pane and you wish to join on a feature, you can merely right click and go here to Add Join. But today we'll be working with Join Field. Let's go ahead and drag this into the Model Builder. Now that we have Join Field into the model, we'll have to decide which of these two tables we wish to make our input table. See, unlike an add join, this will not be temporary. So the fields that we add from one table are going to remain permanently in the input table. I'm gonna go ahead and select the unemployed population total as my input table and make my unemployed sum, as well as the counts, my join table. Now we'll double click to view the parameters, just like we would if we were using the geoprocessing tool from the pane. You can see here that for my input, it's asking me which field, and I know that I'll be using tract. I'll do the same for my join table. And then here where it says join fields, these are the fields I wish to include. So I'll be including the tract population, as well as the block count and then click OK. And just like I would here, I can select Run up in the model. Navigating to the Contents pane, we can now open our attribute table to see if the join was successful. You'll notice now that I do have tracked population total, as well as tracked population for unemployment and block count. From here, I can add fields and do some field calculations or even operate summary statistics geoprocessing tool. So let's recap. Using the join field geoprocessing tool, we were able to take two tables and have the fields from one permanently remain in the fields of the other. You can also do this with feature classes as well as shapefiles. If you're interested in hearing more about pivot tables, summary statistics, or even field calculations, check some of the videos in our playlist. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.